Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have one very very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we have to find out all real values of x given that x cannot be negative half. Once I will plug in x equal to minus half to our equation, we will get 0 by 0 form in our LHS. So it is indeterminate form. That is why minus half is in restricted list. Now I will switch numerator and denominator. So let us consider reciprocal both sides. I will write our equation 8x plus 4 whole power 5 minus 5x plus 2 whole power 5 minus 3x plus 2 whole power 5. In denominator we will write 2x plus 1 whole power 5. Right hand side will be 560. Now from the first bracket of the numerator which is 8x plus 4. 4 is common so we will take 4 common it will come out as 4 power 5 which is 1 0 2 4. Then in the bracket we will get 2x plus 1 whole power 5. In denominator we have 2x plus 1 whole power 5 minus 5x plus 2 whole power 5 over 2x plus 1 whole power 5 minus 3x plus 2 whole power 5 over 2x plus 1 whole power 5 equal to 560. Now we will cancel these two brackets. We will get 1024 minus 5x plus 2 over 2x plus 1 and then we will put whole power 5. Similarly here we will write 3x plus 2 Denominator will be 2x plus 1 and then we will write whole power 5. RHS is 560. Now I will take 560 to the LHS and these two negative terms we will take to the RHS. So I can write LHS as 1024 minus 560. 1024 minus 560 will be equal to 3x plus 2 over 2x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 5x plus 2 over 2x plus 1 whole power 5. Now 1024 minus 560 is 464. So I can write 3x plus 2 over 2x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 5x plus 2 over 2x plus 1 whole power 5 equal to 464. Let me correct it is 2x. Now I will use substitution. Let's say the first bracket is a. Let's say this bracket is b. So the very first equation would be a power 5 plus b power 5 we can write will be 464. Now we will evaluate the value of a plus b expression. So a is 3x plus 2 over 2x plus 1. B is 5x plus 2 over 2x plus 1. Denominator is common or same. We will write LCM as 2x plus 1. Simply we will add both the numerators and we will get 8x plus 4. Once I will take 4 common from the numerator. I can write a plus b will be equal to 
फोर टाइम्स इन द ब्रैकेट टू एक्स प्लस वन ओवर टू एक्स प्लस वन सो दीज टू ब्रैकेट विल बी ओवर वी विल गेट अवर सेकेंड इक्वेशन ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू फोर फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ए पार फाइव प्लस बी पार फाइव इक्वल टू फोर सिक्सटी फोर नाउ आई विल यूज वन एल्जेब्राइक फॉर्मूला to find out expression a cube plus b cube so we know that a cube plus b cube is a plus b whole cube minus 3ab times a plus b so a plus b was 4 i will write here 4 cube minus 3 times ab times 4 now i can take 4 common here so in the bracket i can write 4 square which is 16 minus 3 times ab so a cube plus b cube is also we know now i will use binomial expansion for a plus b whole power 5 let us write this formula first a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 5 ab in the bracket a cube plus b cube plus 10 a square b square times a plus b now we have to apply all the known values equations so a plus b was 4 a power 5 plus b power 5 this is 4 6 4 a cube plus b cube here it is let's apply so i will write here 4 power 5 in the lhs 4 6 4 in the rhs plus 5 ab a cube plus b cube we will write 4 times in the bracket 16 minus 3ab then a plus b is 4 so i will write here 10 times 4 or we can write 40 also a square b square now equation is divisible by 4 let's divide by 4 so 4 power 4 will be equal to 116 plus 5ab in the bracket 16 minus 3ab and 40 divided by 4 is 10 so 10a square b square now 4 power 4 is 256 256 minus 116 140 equal to 5ab i will write let me multiply 30ab no it would be 80ab Minus fifteen a square b square plus ten a square b square. Now equation is divisible by five also. Once we will divide and take all the terms to one side, we'll be getting our quadratic equation in a b as a square b square minus sixteen a b plus twenty eight equal to zero. let me write here a square b square minus 16 ab plus 28 equal to 0 now i can use method of factorization as i can see the factors of 28 as 14 times 2 and once i will add both i will get 16 so we can split our middle term as minus 14ab minus 2ab then we have plus 28 equal to 0 so we will take common we will get factors ab minus 2 and ab minus 14 equal to 0 now i will apply product zero rule we will be getting ab equal to 2 
and AB equal to 14. Now our second equation was A plus B equal to 4. So from here I can write B will be equal to 4 minus A which we will apply here. Let's apply. I will write A times 4 minus A equal to 2. A times 4 minus A equal to 14. Take all the terms to RHS. I will get our quadratic A square minus 4A plus 2 equal to 0. This is our first quadratic equation. And second equation would be A square minus 4A plus 14 equal to 0. Now I will calculate discriminant value here for the second quadratic equation. Let me write. So D will be equal to B square minus 4AC. So B square is minus 4 A square minus 4 times 1 times 14. Value will be 16 minus 56. Discriminant is coming out minus 40. Discriminant is negative. We will get complex solutions. As we are looking for real ones, we will reject. This equation we are going to reject. So accepted equation would be A square minus 4A plus 2 equal to 0. Let us solve here. A square minus 4A plus 2 equal to 0. Let us apply quadratic formula. A will be equal to minus of minus 4 which is minus B plus minus the square root of minus 4 A square B square minus 4 times 1 times 2. This is 4 AC over 2 times A. A is 1. So we will be getting 4 plus minus the square root of minus 4 square is 16 minus 8 over 2. Or I can write here 4 plus minus the square root 8 over 2. This will be equal to 4 plus minus 2 root 2 over 2. So I can write here A will be equal to 2 plus minus square root 2. So we have two A values. Now A was our substitution 3x plus 2 over 2x plus 1. So I will write here 3x plus 2 over 2x plus 1. This is equal to A. Now we will cross multiply. Let me write here the value of A. This is 2 plus minus root 2. Now we will cross multiply and write 3x plus 2 equal to 2ax plus a. Now I will write or take 2ax to the LHS and this 2 to the RHS. I can write here RHS would be a minus 2 and x is common so LHS would be 3 minus 2a. So we can write the value of x equal to a minus 2 over 3 minus 2a. Here we have a. So I can subtract 2 from both the sides to get the value of a minus 2. So I can write a minus 2 from this a equation will be plus minus root 2 which we are going to apply in the numerator. Now we have to calculate 3 minus 2a. Let us calculate here 3 minus 2a will be equal to 3 minus 2 times a is 2 plus minus root 2. Once we will simplify we will write 3 minus 4 then we will write minus plus 2 root 2. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So minus 1 minus plus 2 root 2. So this is the denominator value and numerator is plus minus root 2. This is our numerator. This is our denominator.
so we can write the value of x would be plus minus root 2 over minus 1 minus plus 2 root i will write plus minus root 2 minus 1 minus plus 2 root now i will rationalize denominator so i need to multiply by minus 1 plus minus 2 root 2 in the denominator and in the numerator. Now you can see this is a minus b times a plus b or a plus b times a minus b. So we can apply difference of two squares formula and we can write plus minus root 2 in the numerator minus 1 plus minus 2 root 2 and in the denominator we will get minus 1 square minus 2 root 2 whole square. So denominator will be equal to 1 minus 8 equal to minus 7. So I can write x will be equal to plus minus root 2 over negative 7 in the bracket minus 1 plus minus 2 root 2. Now I will take this minus sign into this bracket. So I can write plus minus root 2 over 7 and bracket would be 1 minus plus 2 root 2. So I can write x equal to root with plus sign root 2 over 7 then bracket would be 1 minus 2 root 2 and once I will consider minus sign I will write minus root 2 over 7 then bracket would be 1 plus 2 root. If I will simplify means I will multiply root 2 over 7 into the bracket I can write my final answer if I will write here then root 2 over 7 minus 4 over 7. This is our first answer and second answer would be minus root 2 over 7 minus 4 over 7. So we have two real solutions root 2 over 7 minus 4 over 7 and minus root 2 over 7 minus 4 over 7. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hype. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.